This week, we've built a continuously spinning plate. I'm going to call her Susan. Susan is a combination of last couple projects that we've worked on. Susan's controlled via Bluetooth and uses the same code that we use for our linear rail project. We're Hacker Twins. Like and subscribe. Susan spins round and round thanks to this stepper motor right here. The stepper motor is connected to the Arduino, and the Arduino has a Bluetooth chip on it. Sending capital R to the Bluetooth chip will make the stepper motor spin 10 steps to the right. S sending capital L will make it spin 10 steps to the left. In this case, I can just send L multiple times to make it spin multiple iterations of 10 steps. Now we're going to go through the build. You're going to want to stick around if you want to be able to make your own stationary robot that can spin 360. We also just nested a piece of steel in here because with all the moving around it's very important for the base to be solid. You can see here on the base we have these teeth because this cylindrical gear allows the stepper motor to spin around it. Spins perfectly all the way around. This thing right in the middle of the plate is an electrical slip ring. It's critical for Susan's function because what the slip ring does is it allows one side of the wires to spin indefinitely while keeping the connection. Here's the Arduino and Bluetooth chip board from last week. This is the stepper motor controller. The stepper motor is just held on by two screws. This breadboard keeps moving around. I'm just going to add some hot glue right here and stick it on. After getting the top of this plate cleaned off, the next thing we'll do is we'll integrate a robot arm onto the top and we'll have a really cool robot. If you want to stay up to date on our robot projects like Susan here, like and subscribe. Hacker Twins out.